On the outside, the Mercy Center for Women looks cold and dull. It's a plain brown building that doesn't attract much attention. But on the inside, the Mercy Center is warm and welcoming. It makes sense that the center is like a home because executive director Chris Tomba is a mother to whoever walks in. If you don't do that, I'm going to tell Miss Chris. You know, so I'm like, <laughs> mother, and, you know, I'm going to tell on you. And uh, it's really funny. Tomba says the women must follow the Mercy's mission, healing the body, mind, and spirit. Well, it's just what we do. I mean, that's our mission. So everything that we do revolves around the mission. So, you know, it's just, you know, respecting the women. Sometimes the women come back as volunteers or employees. Tina Rose was recently named as the center's first and only ambassador. Here she comes almost every single day, volunteers all day long. We are her family. But, you know, she comes a lot, um, probably four days a week. And um, she's remarkable. Whenever we get a new girl in, then she walks them through the whole house, shows them what they do in their chores, what's to be expected, and she does a great job. She introduces them to all the staff. So she feels, you know, she does feel really, really special. Yes. The Mercy Center for Women is even laid out like a house. There's a living room, a library, a dining room, and even a playroom for the children. Just in case any of the kids come out. We don't want anybody going out of the yard. The children at the Mercy Center can range in age. Girls can live there up to the age of 18 and boys up to the age of 12. The children also go through Mercy Center programs. We have a child advocate that works with the children, so mm -hmm. they're always in some one little girl now that's probably autistic, making sure that we're getting her in the right programs and, you know, making her mother aware, you know, there is something wrong here. So let's be proactive and try to figure out what it is because mm -hmm. it's going to be more beneficial for the child. Women can stay at the center for up to two years. Tombaugh says it's natural for workers to develop personal relationships with the women and children even after they leave. If they want to be connected to us, they're connected. Um, some more than others. You know, I think, I think we've all, all of the staff, have gotten where there's a couple that we just continue to mentor. I mean, I, I've been working with one girl for 10 years, and she's still, you know, I, you know, we probably talk on the phone once a week. The one girl, I probably, she probably calls me every day. Um, she's having some issues and problems, so, um, you know, but, but I am like her children's grandmother. The Mercy Center and its mission can become a part of someone. For one woman, it was Tomba's support that saved her life. And um, so she was at their place, and not too far from here, and one of her old friends came over, and now that she's in her own place, came over, and she said, um, she said, I was in the bathroom doing something, and she comes into the bathroom, and she had rolls a dollar bill, and, and it was crack. And she says, you, you, you know, let's get high. And she says, are you crazy? She says, get that out of my house. That is not who I am today. She says, well, what difference does it make? You're not at Mercy Center anymore. She says, but Mercy Center's at me. Sitting on my desk. Bye. The Mercy Center for Women may look cold and dull on the outside, but the inside holds a mother's heart.